hello welcome to mega Vero S. in this video we are going to see how to control your android phone from your Vero S watch using the macrodroid application let's get into the video open play store search for macrodroid device automation so i have installed this already so you can install this from the play store so once installed just open this so this is the home page of this application you see lot of options here i'm not going to describe about all the options here i will just show how to create a basic macro so if you see the first two options add macro and add macro wizard using these two options any one of these options you can create macro basically both are same just the ui is different i will just open the first one so if you see this is the ui for the first one trigger action constraints just go back add macro wizard if you see this is also is going to perform the same and create macro only but the ui is different that's all okay so for easy uh, clear understanding you will use the first one so here you we can see what and all we are adding so for example i will create something here okay so trigger is basically when an action if it's a basically if condition if something happens then this section will happen so basically you have to uh, I'll just make something then it will be clear to understand so i'll just go connectivity so bluetooth is off right so what i will do is bluetooth if bluetooth enabled so if you see this is a trigger so when bluetooth is enabled what i need to do so here actions if you see there are a lot of actions available here we can do whatever we want but uh, for example i will i'm going to just speak a text i mean the phone will speak text bluetooth is turned on okay so just okay so when bluetooth is enabled it will speak this text so let's see i just click on this add macro so now the macro is added so here it will be available under the uncategorized so i didn't add inside any categories categories so it comes into the uncategorized so what i will do is i'll just enable the bluetooth let's see i'll make sure the volume is up okay i will enable the bluetooth bluetooth is turned on i hope you can hear the sound so that macro is executed so this is how we can create watch connected macro okay so the same way we can create macro which we can be used on the watch also but basically we will be controlling the phone only from the watch okay so i'll just click on the trigger so here you have to search for wear and red wear so this is a trigger so there are three options the first one is android wear app so you have to select that app sorry that option so this is basically icons so based on your action you have you can select any icon okay let's say uh, let me search for something like flashlight or something so if you see this is a first light icon i will just select this one so this is a trigger okay so when i tap on the trigger what should happen so basically this trigger will be displayed on my watch so from there when we tap on that what action should happen here here i want to torch on or off in background so you can set any of these options off or on i will do the torch toggle okay so what will happen is when i tap on that particular action on my watch that torch in the phone will be toggled basically if it's on it will turn off if it is off then it will get turned on so this is how we can create macros for the Vero S watch okay so like this i have created already uh, many macros i will just show the list so here this is the macros list so here if you see this is the watch macro droid group or category so here you see 25 so there are some 25 macros 
we have created already so if you see in each macro the trigger is and we wrap so basically the trigger is uh, mentioned as and we wrap the these triggers um, this macros will be displayed on your various watch so uh, before that you have to install the macroroid VROS app on your watch so I have given the link in the description uh, you can download the APK and if you don't know how to install the APK I have given the link above and in the description also you can watch that video and you can install the APK on your watch over the uh, Wi-Fi okay so so once installed I will show the macro droid app also on my watch so here so this is my watch I will just go this macro droid app so this once you install you you can see this much only some app settings so it's just a enable quick launch and uh, there will be option add macro in macro droid so when you click this if uh, the phone and watch both are connected over the bluetooth it will start the macro droid on your phone it's basically a shortcut so request fail means now actually the phone is not connected to the watch I'll just turn on the bluetooth so in few seconds it will get connected watch connected so yeah if you see uh, i think you heard that sound so uh, watch and phone both are connected now i'll just open this macro drive so here um, if uh, when i click this basically it will open the macro data and uh, it will sync whatever macros we have created already to the watch so yeah it's connected i will just open it again so okay if you see uh, it synced all the macros available on my phone okay so now let's see each macros one by one how it performs first one clear all notifications so in my phone there is no notification right now so what i will do is i will just create a test notification from micro itself you can see there is a notification so i will just tap on this on my watch the notification got cleared so from watch itself you can clear all the notifications on your phone so I'll just show what how i will create it so there is a trigger and clear all notification is actions so next fake pop-up so you can just show on fake pop-up on your phone you can just tap on this from your watch it will just be a pop-up so actually i have a lot of accents just for showing in the video just enable the display dialog only you can get uh, any kind of pop-ups like this so next one find phone so i will just mute the phone and just tap on the find phone so and uh, so here you can see uh, the phone is playing audio and the flashlight is also turned on if the phone screen was off it will turn on automatically because i'm recording the screen i didn't turn on the phone screen uh, so you can uh, set any number of actions like this so and just so next one not phone uh, I will not show this now because it will stop the recording. So I will just increase the volume and I will show the mute phone option. And just from watch itself, we can mute the phone. And just tap, you can see the silent mode is on on my phone. Same way, we can unmute also and just scroll down. Unmute will be at last. So I will just tap on this so you can see silent mode is off. So from watch itself, basically your phone and watch if it's connected through Bluetooth, you can do all this. Now I will just try the phone battery. I want to know the phone's battery from my watch itself. So you here you can get the notification. So here if you see 52 off. So phone percentage is 52 and off is it's not connected to the charger. That is the meaning. So I will just show the action configuration also. Here I selected the VR notification. So first one is the main title, second one is the value. Battery is the battery percentage, power is it's Powered on or not? I mean the charger is connected or not. 
so if you see there is a current battery percentage that is the battery on and there is a power on or off so that is the value here so next phone brightness i will reduce my phone's brightness fully down i just click on this if you see it is increasing fully so from what itself we can increase the phone's brightness next phone media value so i will just reduce that so if you see the value is fully down I'll just click this i have set like uh, it will give few options like 25 percent or 50 percent so just tap on 25 percent so it will increase only the 25 percent percentage of the sound you can see it is increased i will just tap on the 50 percent uh, so you can see here it is now i will just tap on 50 percent so now it will increase to 50 percent yes so like this you can create however you want this so configuration here also here also it's a notification so basically you have to select a notification and first one is the title second one is the so here i we have the two options title so you can give any title so we should have a uh, support macro so here if you see the first one is set media volume to 50 so i have another one macro that macro you have to call here so that will perform the action next phone screen on if your phone screen on is off you can just click on this it will turn on the screen and phone touch so from watch itself you can turn on the flashlight so i will just show here if you see it's flashlight is off i'll just click on this you can see the flashlight is turned on i'll just so uh, on my phone also the flashlight got turned on right so it is like a toggle you can just tap it on again it will turn off the flashlight so you can see it's turned off right yes so the next one is play music in phone so you can just tap on this play music in phone which will start the music player and it will start the song also on your phone so you can see that uh, it launched the music player and playing the song so next one press back button i'll just click on this back button so basically it will click the back button on the phone side so you can see it went back next one is home button it will press the and it's home button you can see it went to the home screen so um, this phone next one is set full value on phone and just uh, set the phone in portrait mode just a sec okay so now uh, we are going to see the set full value on phone i will go to the settings and so the sound settings So I will reduce the. Uh, so yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, I just clicked on that. It went to the full value, right? So I just show the mute phone also here itself. You can see it muted the ringtone and the media. I will show the unmute also here itself. You can see the ringtone is unmuted, uh, which means same mode is off. Okay, next one is audio recording so from watch itself you can start the audio, audio recording on your phone so it will store the recording in the uh, macro drive folder so here this is macro drive folder inside there is a recordings folder so i will just show that so it's empty folder i will just start audio recording so actually the audio is recording now but you cannot see on the phone uh, but you can see the file is created on the recordings folder so no one will get to know that audio is recording so once when you want to stop you can just click on the stop the audio recording will be stopped otherwise it will be keep on recording next we have the take photo also 
so we will just go back there's a photos folder so if you see there is an nothing in that folder I just uh, tap on take photo so I have created like it will give a notification which will ask front camera rear camera so you can tap anyone so I, have, I will just click on the front one so it will take the picture from the front camera you, you can see that image has appeared in the folder automatically so I take in the front camera what I will do is I will um, now I will try the rear camera I will just show the uh, watch and I will take the rear camera picture again and just tap on the rear so it should take the picture from the back side of the camera you can see it is captured the image appeared automatically on the folder right uh, this is how you can take photo from your watch using this micro trade app we'll see next so you can take screenshot also using your watch so before that i'll show this take photo so here it's a title and uh, it's a second one is the small title that one the accents you have to give the uh, you have to run the existing macro so i have created a front camera rear camera to support macros i'll just show that so you have to call that macro inside this accents so here if you see front cam rear cam so this is the support macros i have so this i am calling inside that macro so this is how we can do that so next we have the text screenshot i just tap it uh, So here, uh, okay, because of some reason it couldn't save screenshot, uh, that's fine, and so next, and so the rotate, so if you see the ro rotate is off, rotate, screen rotate is off, from watch I will just toggle it, so toggle means off, will change to on or on to off, now you can see that it turned off, I will just toggle again, it turned on, right, so from watch itself you can toggle that and yeah this is the action we have inside this toggle project yeah unmute we have seen already so if you like this video press the like button and subscribe the channel if you have any questions on this you can put in comments i will answer thank you